Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to take a look at Sarulic in the Open Great League. But not only this, we're also gonna take a look at Amarush here. So we're gonna have a very spicy team with uh, two insane glass cannons and together with also a very interesting lead here, which I don't have access to either, which is going to be the Go-Goat. Go-Goat is only available for the people that went to like in-person safari zones things. Basically, I think it's like city safari where you don't even have like a park anymore because Niantic can cash in with that quite easily without having to build up anything. So yeah, here we're going to have um, a very spaced team. They are going to be issues for this team for sure. For example, Dragon type Pokemon going to be a very tricky to deal with, but also we're going to have buffed Go Goat as a brick break now got a buff. Still, Go Goat would really appreciate a rock side on this Pokemon and had rock side just before it got released and then it just got yeah removed from its moveset. But let's take a look at this first battle here. You're going to see that we have a two shield armor rouge against three Pokemon. So let's see if this is going to work out for you. We will also gonna see now a Whiskash coming in. Whiskash is going to take some very nice damage from Psyshock. Psyshock is going to be stab. Going to not two-shot the opponent, sadly, but you can still do a ton of damage with that Incinerate, which is already going to put them into two-shot range for the Psyshock as the opponent decides to swap out into the Skarmory. Can go ahead and go for the Flame Charge, which is going to boost the attack and also just going to go for the full farm now. now Psyshock is easily going to be enough and the opponent decides to forfeit here. Next upon coming through, we're going to see the Gliga in the lead, which is again kind of an issue for this team. But you can still play around because for the lead of the Go Goat, you're going to be able to reach the second leaf blade one fast move faster, which is going to be very important because with this, you're going to outspeed the opponent's Gliga. And you're going to be able to just go ahead and go for a swap here, actually, onto the charge move from the Gliga onto the aerial ace. It's going to be great for you. As you can see, the opponent swaps out into a Cresselia, which is an interesting play because Cresselia is actually going to get completely walled usually in terms of the typing from Cerulege but of course with the health Cerulege is at you can kind of let this move go through it's not going to be ideal but you can swap out into your armor rouge and armor rouge as well is going to be able to resist every single hit from the Cresselia as the psychic typing is going to be resisted by our own psychic typing Grasson is resisted by fire we're going to have also Moonblast which is going to be resisted by fire and then like Aurora Beam also would be resisted by fire so literally armor rouge is is going to be the best answer for the Cresselia. Let's see what is coming in afterwards. We're going to have some extra energy now. It's going to be a Reggie Steel. I'm not too sure why they swap into this one immediately, but this is going to be great as the Flame Charge is coming through, going to boost the attack even further, and another one is going to knock them out, and so the opponent is just going to get completely obliterated from an Armor Rouge. Next opponent coming in, we're going to have here one of the worst possible Pokemon to encounter. It's going to be a Tenon Flame. Swapping into the Armor Rouge, I guess, does make a little bit more sense as you're gonna get to the Psyshock a little bit faster than you would get to the Shadow Balls. But in comes now, anyway, the Quagsire, which is gonna make this a little bit tricky. If Gogoat still had access to the move Rock Side, this will have still been an okay spot, at least for you, because he can swap into the Gogoat, and Gogoat would be able to get a ton of energy here. And like I mentioned, we had Rock Side, we would be able to also knock out the opponent's Talon Flame with that. But here, Mud Bomb is going to be resisted, not gonna do too much damage. He can still go for two fast and then go for the Brick Break, as it cannot swap out anyway. Brick Break can drop the defense, but the opponent decides to use a shield. Maybe they were not sure if the Rock Side was still on this Pokemon, but it wasn't, of course. Like, it got completely removed from its moveset. But the Flame Charge is going to boost up their attack. But as the opponent went straight for another one, we should be kind of good here. We should be able to win the next CMP tie, but it's going to be an interesting one for us, because let's see here, the opponent is going to decide to still stay in. God, still do a ton of damage. Like, it's resisted damage, but we also do a ton of damage. I guess he could have thumped them actually all the way down, which I feel like is maybe a mistake. I think the opponent would have been able to get to a move before, but Skarmory is coming back in now, and Skarmory is not going to appreciate any of the damage that's coming in against it, and this is going to be a big boom, and Sarulich is going to be able to sweep this opponent. So many sweeps there so far already. Bastion in the lead. This is going to be actually great for you because you have Brick Break on this Pokemon. You don't really encounter this against your Fire type Pokemon in the back. As yeah, the uh, rocks uh, like the Rock type move here with Smackdown as well as the uh, Stone Edge would be a little bit tricky. Flamethrower, of course, is also a little bit tricky on Go Goat. So using a shield here is kind of a must have as the Brick Break is coming through. Might force a shield from the opponent. It does force a shield. And they decide to swap out now into. I did not see it. I think it was a Galate based on the animation or whatever. Yes, it was a Galate. And so you can go for the swap out into the Cerulege, being able to double resist the close combat and single resist the Leaf Blade. It's going to be great. Still did a ton of damage. And they're going to have a Ferretti Gator in the back. 
might be better to go for Incinera. Nah, never mind. Like, it's going to be better for to go for the Shadow Ball. You would have not been able to go for a double Flame Charge anyway. And so the opponent goes for a Charge move. You want to use a Shield. It's going to be the Crunch. And so you can actually outspeed them to the next Charge move here, but you're going to get the Defense drop onto your Go Gold. And this might be a little bit of a problem now, as the opponent might be able to knock you out in time, but you can still actually reach the Brick Break. Is this enough to knock them out? It's going to be very, very close. It is not, and so you're forced to swap into the Armor Rouge, but they can go for one Stone Edge here, and this is going to be a good game. Or not, it was a Flamethrower, and so you can win this one. Honestly, don't know why they went for the Flamethrower there, maybe it was single move, who knows. Next opponent, we're going to have a Mantide in the lead. Oh, guess what? Another Pokemon that completely destroys his team. Let's see here, the Leaf Blade coming through, still going to do some decent damage, does not two shot, but it's the same kind of scenario like against the Gliger, where you're going to be able to reach the next Leaf Blade before they can go for another um, Aerial Ace, which is going to be very good for you, as this is going to connect, going to do some decent damage, and Cerulege will be able to take uh, Aerial Ace a little bit easier than the uh, Go Goat, and also you can go for the full farm now, getting some energy, and might even getting back the shield. But here we're going to see a Drip variant of the Quagsire, which is kind of nice, like look at his head, it looks fabulous for sure. Very stylish there, Craigsire. Love that look. But as you can see, the Aqua Tail is sadly going to knock us out. But we still have our Go Goat. The Goat is coming in next, and most likely Brick Break is going to. Oh yeah, actually, most likely the Brick Break is going to get launched here. Brick Break is really cool for this team as well because you have two Incinerate users. They are both Glass Cannon in the back, and just dropping the opponent's defense dead like this is always kind of a great thing to have. As you're going to see now with the Incinerate damage, uh, doing damage like Charge moves, it's absolutely wild. You can use a shield and. I think you're still going to be fine here. As the opponent goes into the Crack you're going to go for the undercharged variant here of the Flame Charge, which doesn't matter as the opponent has two shields, just to do more damage with the fast move alone. But the opponent decides to go for a charge move, most likely a mistake, because they only play was to farm you down. But like this, you can easily farm them down. Honestly, so many bad lead, but I guess like this is going to be an ABB style line anyway, so having a bad lead is not really that bad. But here we're going to see the Quagsire coming in, going straight for an Aqua Tail, destroying the Cerulege immediately. This is not really looking good for you. You can still go ahead and go into the Go Goat, which is going to be a Pokemon that can take a move for sure. And as you're going to see, Stone just coming through here as well. We're going to still go for the full farm now. Never mind, they can still reach another move, but you can, and you have to let this move go through because you need the shields for your other Pokemon in the back. This might be the team that I showcased actually earlier on. If you haven't seen the video, definitely check this one out as well. Let's see, it actually is the team with the Dragonair there. And let's move on to the next opponent. Another horrible lead, like honestly every lead so far was like a hard wall for you, which is kind of annoying. It feels like there are so many flying type Pokemon currently in the lead, um, but sadly of course one of the flying type Pokemon is going to be the Gliger. I wonder if there's a Pokemon that can really break both Gligar as well as Garmory, which is kind of funny that they have both in one team. But I feel like currently, nearly also on my account, like on all my battles, I encountered so many flying type Pokemon in the lead, which was pretty damn annoying, I have to say. But here, you can still go for the double flame charge, I guess, as you're gonna be already two shields down, which is going to be very tricky for you to still come back from. But the opponent goes into the Feraligator. Going for this flame charge was a mistake for sure, because you would have been able to reach another Psyshock here. In time and like this you're not going to be able to do that and this would have changed quite a bit i would say because the opponent would have been way lower based on the damage already because Psyshock would have been neutral plus you would have been able to get two of them off and so yeah this would have definitely been way way better for you if this would be a little bit differently here but we're gonna see the brick break gonna get the shield you might still do enough damage with the incinerate here to put them into um wine whip range but if this is going to be a dick you're gonna go down it's a night session you can still survive they get the boost but it doesn't matter and Sarudic can still knock them out Speaking of pretty bad leads, like why does everyone have currently flying type Pokemon in the lead? I don't really get it, but like it is everywhere. Like what the hell? We're going to see another flying type here with a Cherizard, a Pokemon that is kind of forgotten. Should I make a video about Cherizard? Maybe this Pokemon has a little bit more play than people expect. I don't know. I haven't really tried it for ages. So if you would be interested in a video about Cherizard, let me know in the comment section. In general, I'm always looking for like some kind of inspiration for like stuff that you want to see. Maybe a Pokemon that you feel like is kind of underrated in the current matter that I should build a team around. Let me know. Here, this is going to be a very tough one to come back from because literally Charizard just destroys his team 
And uh, Brick Break is not going to help too much with that either, but look at the damage actually that Armor Rouge was able to do there. We will see the Flame Shot coming in, which is kind of important to boost your own incinerate damage. But as you can see, of course, the shield comes back up. You can still go for your own shield, but if the opponent plays it great or like smart here, you won't tell, basically have no chance of winning this game because this incinerate is not going to do enough damage to get the opponent to farm long range either, as we will see here right now. And so they can still reach another move. This is going to be definitely the drill run. There's no way around this. And so we are not going to have two charge moves stored yet. We could try to catch a move. That worked out perfectly, I would say. And so it's going to be sadly a loss. And next opponent, Ferrothorn in the lead. This is actually not too bad for Go Goat because you have Brick Break now, but also your backline is double fire, so like it is definitely better to maybe go ahead and swap out eventually here. But storing up some energy might be decent because a lot of times with Ferrothorn there might be something in the back, like a Water type Pokemon, as um, you kind of need some answers for Fire type Pokemon, of course. So something like a. Uh, What's called Jellison, for example, is a very common Pokemon that you pair with the Ferrothorn just because they're going to be able to resist fighting plus fire, so it's smart to keep some energy on the Go Goat. In comes here, though, um, a Pokemon that I did not really expect, a Talonflame. Never mind, actually, I made a video about um, Talonflame plus Ferrothorn core before, so definitely something that definitely works out pretty well. I was using Vigoroth with it, but I used also the Talonflame as a lead instead. But as you can see, you can still go for another charge move here. It's going to be the Psyshock coming in, going to connect, and it's actually the Jellison in the back, which is hilarious. I did not know this. Like, I had no idea. It does make a lot of sense to have those two Pokemon together, but this is kind of the, like, the thing that I kind of also want to say. Like, if you kind of know certain Pokemons, you kind of could expect what they have in the back and here um, with a Jellison, that's kind of funny, or you can move on to the next one. There are just certain Pokemon that you kind of have to pair with each other, like this was basically a prime example of the two Pokemon that you always kind of pair with a Ferrothorn, and if you know this, you can kind of play around it, which is kind of great. Here we will see a Feraligator. Sadly, they're not Shadow, because I feel like if they were Shadow, maybe we would have had a better chance of actually knocking them out with this one, but with the lead of Altaria, I doubt that there's going to be a lot of things that you can do here. Let's see. They're going to try to go for the full farm down. I don't think it's worth it to go for a shield here either. Let's see. It's going to be the crunch, which is great for you. You don't get the debuff and you can have to go for two brick breaks, I would imagine, just in order to try to get the defense a little bit lower from the opponent. Yes, you're gonna do exactly this. Maybe you get a shield here. I doubt it because brick break is not gonna do any damage. Okay, that's great. Like, that is definitely great. And they swap out into the Emporion, which is even better because now you can ramp up your attack with the Flame Charge here. And what you can also do is you can go for the full farm down. Just gonna go for a shield and then the opponent has to deal with a buffed Shadow Ball from a Cerulege against the Altaria. Even if they get to a move here, the Shadow Ball is still going to connect. And I would be wondering if they can still actually survive this one. It's a buffed variant of Shadow Ball. Let's see if this is going to be enough to knock them. It is not, but it was close and the opponent decides to forfeit this game. Final battle for today, we're going to have a Talon Flame in the lead. This Pokemon is going to be scary for this team, but the opponent stops out into an Azurmoil. Even worse for you, because this Pokemon is going to be even worse for your team. So, you can still go for uh, maybe a Shadow Ball here if the opponent screws it up. Yes, the, the opponent decides to screw it up, and you can at least go ahead and get some damage onto them, or get a shield, which is, I guess, maybe even better. But at this point, basically, Armor Rouge has to carry this game. I doubt that it's going to work out at all. You have to take a move here. You're going to over farm a little bit too much as well, which is going to be a little bit of a trickier one as the player is coming through now again. Going to go for a little bit of a risky play and trying to get even closer to another Leaf Blade with the Go Goat. But as you're gonna see now, the opponent goes into Talonflame. Actually, what would have been smart here is to go for one extra fast move with your Go Goat because then you would have a Leaf Blade stored and you still would not lose out on any turns because the opponent is going to be in like the fast move animation anyway already and you would lose one turn by swapping so there would have been actually a case of where you could get to one leaf blade extra i wonder if this is going to matter at the end we will find out shortly as the armor is going to go for the flame charge boosting its own attack a little bit let's see what they have in the back it's going to be the ferrothorn and let's see if we can still you can still reach a psy shock which is kind of nice for you but is it going to be enough to knock them out? It is not. You swap out and you can still go for the leaf bite here to win the game. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like and I'll see you then. Bye bye.